Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Lisa with Tri-State Veterinary Services and this is my assistant Ryan and Jerry the goat. In this video we're going to go over giving intramuscular or IM injections. So this is where you're giving medication into the actual muscle itself. So other ways to give injections would be like a sub-Q injection that's under the skin. This one is going into the muscle. Why there are different has to depend on what the medication is and what it's made of, as well as how quickly it's absorbed into the body. So if it says to give it under the skin, give it under the skin. There's reasons for it. If it says give it in the muscle, give it in the muscle. And so in our previous video, we went over subcutaneous. This will be going over intramuscular or IM injections. When you're giving IM injections, the best place to give medications are in two locations for the muscle. The first would be an option of giving it in the neck region. In small ruminants, I would say this is a little bit more difficult of an area simply because there's less of a window to give it in. In cattle and horses, this is a more easier area for us to give injections, so you'll see IM injections given them more. However, I'll show you where to put it today. So, in your sheep or goats, what we're looking at is what we call the triangle of the neck where we would give the injection. So you wanna feel out where you're giving things. The first area you're gonna feel is where the trachea or the esophagus lies. So you'll feel out this kind of what we call the jugular groove, but mostly just the front of the neck where the trachea and the esophagus is. You're gonna see the actual angle or point of the shoulder. So this diagonal here and then lastly, the nuchal ligament or the cervical vertebra, which line here on the neck. So when you have it together, you have this triangle. You wanna go right in the middle. So this is all your real estate that is safe muscle tissue where you can give your injection. So as long as you're able to identify these landmarks of the cervical vertebra and nuchal ligament, the point of the shoulder, the esophagus and trachea, you're able to go in this location. Another area which I find to be a little bit more simple in small ruminants would be in the hind end. So I find this to be a little simpler simply because you're not right up in front of them so you can have somebody hold them a little easier. And we're dealing with the back of the leg muscle. So I'm gonna turn him this way. So the easiest way to do this is to look at this area here in the hind leg. So if you can take your hand and go behind the back leg and grab the muscle like this, by holding this part of the muscle belly, what you're identifying is that hamstring area on the goat. And it's that muscle area that is safe to give the injection. Where my thumb is located by taking this natural grip and running down, that's an area where you can actually get into some nerve tissue. So you want to make sure that when you're giving that muscle injection, you're not going into the side of the leg where you could hit a nerve, but rather going in the back of the leg. And the best way to do it would be to grab it like so and get right into that muscle belly tissue. So again, where you want to go is you wanna hold it with your hand like this. Again, my thumb is identifying that area where there may be nerve tissue. So as long as I'm going behind it into this muscle belly, I'm okay. Just as you would with any injection, you wanna make sure that the point of your needle is going into the goat, the bevel is up, so facing towards you. In this case, Instead of going parallel, I'm gonna go perpendicular and I'm gonna go into the goat. In his case, this is a one inch needle. I don't need to go the full length of the one inch needle. Going about halfway or half an inch would be sufficient. So you wanna go in, like any injection, pull back and then give your medication. Thank you, sir.